from team two meteorologist Jamie Jarosik. Jamie, you said that this is the time when the wind is going to be blowing the hardest, right? Yeah, through our early morning hours and actually as we head through the next hour or so, we're going to see a sharp drop off between our gusts that have been up around 50 60 miles per hour. They're going to come down to more like uh, 30 35 miles per hour. So some improvement over the next hour and even more so going into the afternoon. You can see those peak gusts, Kettering, Xenia, Dayton all up around or above 60 miles per hour. Very close to that at Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Springfield. We had a 54 mile per hour gust in Richmond and 53 in Urbana. And these are outside of any thunderstorm. So this is just wind that we're talking about behind the line of rain that came through this morning. You can see our forecast wind gusts are still going to be up around 40 45 miles per hour for the next hour, but then they'll quickly drop and by noon we're looking at winds coming in from the west gusting as high as 20 25 miles per hour. And this is going to continue through the afternoon, so it will be a little breezy, just not as bad as we have been this morning. And then a really rapid drop off in those wind speeds as we head into the overnight hours, looking like a much lighter wind around midnight tonight. Right now we're cloudy. It is windy. Our temperatures have dropped into the upper 40s, right now 49. At lunchtime, we're back up near 53, and we will recover back into the 50s this afternoon. So the afternoon high near 56. Lots of clouds, a little sun and a dry weather, even though we're going to see numerous clouds today. All of the rain that we saw through the overnight hours has moved off to the east and will continue to head away from us as this low is tracking right across Lake Erie. Now behind the system again, it's been windy and we've had some clouds work back in after some brief clearing that we saw. Now we're back to overcast sky and the clouds are going to be around again through a good part of the day. After today's cool down, we're going to get a real quick warm up tomorrow. Forecast high 70 degrees. The normal high is 54. Another system will come through Saturday night into Sunday morning, though. So we're right back down near normal with a high of 55 Sunday. And then a gradual warming trend takes us back into the mid 60s by Tuesday of next week. Here's future track showing lots of clouds, a few breaks here and there, but dry conditions at lunchtime and coming home from work today looks dry too. Also not as windy as your drive into work we will become partly cloudy to even mostly clear at times overnight and tomorrow we'll see clouds mixed with some sun. Looks like a really nice start to the weekend with that warmer air building in for Saturday. Daylight hours look dry, but Saturday night is when the next system will be rolling in. So that'll bring in some showers with the chance of some rumbles of thunder and that will linger even into early Sunday morning before ending. We don't have as great a severe weather risk with that system. Looks like the main severe weather threat will be off to our west and even farther to the southwest. Uh, but something to keep an eye on. We could get some rumbles of thunder and it is going to get a little bit windy again. Here's your forecast today. We're up to 56 degrees, so we'll have those morning winds die down. It'll be breezy with clouds and cooler conditions tonight down to 42. The winds die down even more and tomorrow will be a really nice day. Partly sunny up near 70, a little breezy, but winds will really just be between 10 and 15 miles per hour. And then tomorrow night the winds pick up and it looks windy Sunday morning with a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder early on. We'll see an afternoon high of 55 as we dry out. Monday looks dry, sunny, 58. And Tuesday, we're up to 65 with a mix of sun and clouds. The next system brings in thunderstorms Wednesday and even colder air by Thursday.